Uh, changes at the Far Reynosa International Bridge. This is in an effort to reduce wait times during the busy holiday season. Channel 5's John Palparaz explains this will only impact drivers at certain times of the day. This bridge is back to commercial vehicles only, but earlier today and for the holidays, passenger vehicles will be allowed to come to the country through this bridge for the work week, and that hasn't been the case since the summer. The Far Reynosa Bridge will be open for passenger vehicles for four hours out of the day, meaning commercial vehicles and trucking companies will have to share the lanes. I guess we cross about 20 to 30 trucks a day, come around there, and it's traffic flows pretty good. So. Luis Flores, the terminal manager for Falcon Freight, doesn't want it to impact their current rate of business. Passenger vehicles have only been allowed to cross here on the weekend since July. Two or three weeks from now, and find out if it impacts us as far as the commercial lanes go, um, but we can't really say right now. One of the main reasons for stopping passengers from coming through this port of entry was due to CBP officers being restationed at processing centers to help with the number of people coming across, leaving less people to man the bridge lanes. Florida says they have been happy with the changes the bridge has made in the past and hopes things continue to run smoothly. Yeah, they were doing a good job as far as trying to maintain the flow of commercial trucks going through and uh, giving us priority uh, before any other vehicle. The changes are coming in hopes to reduce wait times during the holiday season. You or loved ones will be able to travel through the bridge from 6 to 8 a.m. and from 4 to 6 p.m. The rest of the day will be strictly for commercial use. And on the weekends, you'll be able to cross from 6 to 8 a.m. and from 4 to midnight. The FAR manager of operations says in about two weeks they'll meet to evaluate the number of passengers coming through. If they see a significant amount of passengers, it could become a permanent change. And FAR, John Paul Barajas, Channel 5 News.